Hello, thanks for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell because that way you'll be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel, I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you wanna see some of my creations, keep watching. Thank you all so much again for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. I am truly and always grateful. I'm going to jump into this first DIY. I have this little mini bag of pumpkins that I picked up from Walmart. And I believe it was a $1.98. I have two packs plus two of these painter sticks. And these come through in a pack for $0.98. Cent. I have this cute little sign here from the dollar tree that says harvest wishes and have the little wooden leaf and then i have three of these little wood pieces that i picked up from the dollar tree as well also what i'm going to be using is some of this dollar tree wood stain i have some of this sage color chalk paint and some white chalk paint the first thing i'm going to do is cut the handles off of my painter sticks and i'm just using my miner saw to cut them down after I get all of them cut down, I am going to line all of them up how I want them to be attached. And to attach these, I am going to use some smaller painter sticks that I used for a previous DIY that I cut the handles off and I actually used the handles. So I'm going to use three of these to connect my sticks together. I am using a combination of wood glue and hot glue to secure my pieces. And so I'm going to add one at the top, the bottom, and then I'm going to add one of them in the middle. After I get all of those attached, what I'm going to do is clean up a little bit of that wood glue. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I have to secure just a few more pieces. I noticed that it didn't have glue in two spots. So what I'm going to do is just add a little more hot glue. I wanna make sure that everything is secure. And so the wood glue is going to eventually dry, but I wanted to add a little hot glue for that instant dry. And so now once I have that complete, what I'm going to do is just go in with that white chalk paint and I am going to paint over this entire piece front and back. And I'm not going too heavy. I'm okay with a little bit of that natural wood color showing. Now what I'm going to do is take that Dollar Tree sanding block and sand over this piece front and back, giving it a nice farmhouse distressed look. I'm going to make sure I go down um, the sticks where I attach them together so I can see a little bit of that shiplap look. I really want to make this have a really nice farmhouse look. After I get that complete, this is how it turned out. And what I'm going to do now is start working on my other wood pieces. I'm going to stain all three of these pieces. And what I'm going to use is that early American um, stain by Mini Wax instead of my Dollar Tree stain. And I'm also going to stain that Harvest Wishes piece with that color as well. So I really wanted to create some really nice high-end looking signs. So after I get this complete, this is how it all looked. Now I did add a little bit wood glue where the string was to cover those holes a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is take some of that white chalk paint and some of that sage color chalk paint to go over that leaf. I am going over the words just a little bit with that white chalk paint, just a really little bit. And then after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is just take some antique wax, go over the leaf a little bit, and then I'm going to go around the outside of the words, like at the 
tips of the words and at the bottom, just making it darker in those spots. And after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is add a hanger and I always use the wire jute cord from the Dollar Tree to create my hangers and I just add a piece and I staple it to the back. And now that I have that complete, I'm going to attach my pieces. I'm going to take one of those wood pieces and I'm going to attach that to the bottom using some wood glue and some hot glue. And then after I get that attached, what I'm going to do is take another piece and hot glue it standing up so that I can create a little ledge. And I'm just going to add some more wood glue and some hot glue so that I can attach that piece. And so that's how my little ledge is looking. And now I'm going to add that third wood piece to the top of the sign using hot glue and wood glue as well. And then after I get that attached, what I'm going to do is get my Harvest Wishes sign and I'm going to attach that close to the top of this sign. And I'm just going to be using some hot glue to attach this. I really like how this is turning out. Once I get that attached, I'm going to take those little mini pumpkins from Walmart and I am going to attach those to the little ledge. And I'll be attaching those using some hot glue. I also decided to add some of my little um, pine cone filler and my little acorn fillers, just some little small ones to blend in with the pumpkins as well. I added the two smaller pumpkins on the ends first and now I'm going to go in with the larger pumpkins and I'm just alternating the colors. I want to put the green one in the middle and have the white ones on each side. And then now I'm going to go in and blend in a few of these little pine cones and acorns just so it can give it a little more touch of harvest a little bit more touch of fall and after i get all of those pieces in there this diy is complete i absolutely love how this turned out it has such a nice high-end look to it And now I'm going to get started on the next DIY for today. From the Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using one of these canvas without the frame. And this is the largest one that the Dollar Tree sell. I'm also going to be using some of these greenery pieces. And these were just some leftover greenery pieces. I believe they came from a Walmart pick. From Hobby Lobby, I have grateful, thankful, and blessed the little wood words. And these were like 80 cents. Also, I have two of these painter sticks and these already have the handles cut down off of them. I'm going to be using some of that decorative rope from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use a little bit more of that stain. Now, what I'm going to do first is sand around these little painter sticks. And I'm going to go in with that stain. I'm going to use the paper towel that I used from the previous staining because I didn't want these to be too dark. And then I'm going to go in with a clean paper towel and kind of wipe over them a little bit more. And once I get them wiped down, I just wanted them to be stained lightly. I'm going to hot glue 
um, one of them to the top and the bottom and I'm just going to be using hot glue for this because it's going to attach to that canvas pretty easy and so now I'm going to add the one at the bottom once I get that complete what I'm going to do is go in with my wood words and I'm just going to add the thankful grateful and blessed one on top of each other I'm just going to get them lined up how I want them and then I'm just going to use my hot glue to attach them And now I'm just going to pull off pieces of the little greenery and baby breath and I'm just going to add them right to the top. I'm just going to add them in like a little bow form, just creating a nice little greenery bow at the top. And then once I get that complete, I am going to take the rope from the Dollar Tree, cut down a piece so that I can staple it to the back. And once I get that stapled down, this DIY will be complete. Now, this was really simple, very budget friendly, but this turned out so cute and it does have a nice little high end look to it. And now I'm going to get started on the next DIY for today. For this DIY, what I have is two more of those painter sticks and I already cut the handles off. I have another one of these signs from the Dollar Tree, but this one says, Thankful Blessed. I have three of these unfinished signs from the Dollar Tree that has the jute cord on them. And what I'm going to be using is some of that antique wax chalk paint, some white paint, and I'm going to be using a um, paint marker that I have. So what I'm going to do first is get my wood pieces lined up and attach them together. So right now I'm just cutting off of all of the jute cord from all of my wood pieces. going to add a little wood glue to the little holes that had the jute cord in here on that sign just so you won't see those I'm going to let that dry and now I'm going to assemble these pieces I'm just connecting them together to make a larger sign and I am going to use those um, painter sticks to attach them I'm just going to add one painter stick on one end and one on the other And after I get that last piece attached, what I'm going to do is use my antique wax color and I'm going to paint this entire thing, the front and the back. And as you can see, I'm brushing over it, trying to use as much as the same paint that I have on there. I want this to be dark, but I also want it to have like a, a natural dark wood color to it. And this is how it turned out. And you can actually style this on either side, but I'm going to be styling it on this side. So now I'm going to work on that wood sign from the Dollar Tree that say thankful, blessed. And I'm going to go in first with that white chalk paint and paint over those words. Once I get that complete, I'm just going to take my Dollar Tree sanding block and sand over it. And now I'm going to take this um, paint mark in the color green and I'm just going to go over that little greenery vine at the bottom. And I'm just taking my marker to make sure I go over the top as well as some of the sides. I didn't want a dark full coverage, but I wanted some of that green. So once I finish painting it, I am going to go over it with that 
Dollar Tree sanding block to just stress it down a little bit so it won't have such that bright green color and that way I can see a little bit of that natural color again and a little bit of that white. This is a really simple piece, but I think it came out really cute. So now what I'm going to do is attach this to my sign. And so I'm just distressing over this sign a little bit, bringing back a little bit of this natural wood, making it look a little bit worn out before I attach my other sign. So once I get that complete, I'm only going to be using some hot glue to attach my sign. And so first what I'm going to do is create my hanger by adding my juke wire and adding two staples on each side. And then what I'm going to do is flip it over and now attach my word. This was really simple, but again, I think it came out really pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of that antique wax on the brush to go over that white a little bit and to go over the little green. And then after I've done that, this will be complete. I absolutely love it. I think this came out really nice. And this also has a nice little high-end look to it. I'm going to get started on the last DIY for today and for this DIY what I'm going to be using is some of these flowers from the Dollar Tree and a bunch of these lamb's ears that I do pick up from Walmart I'm also going to be using one of these painter sticks and it does have the handle cut off I have another one of those signs here from the Dollar Tree and I have three of these Dollar Tree little wooden boxes I also have one of their little wordings that come out of the pack and i'm going to be using some of that wood stain i have some of this foam that i'm going to be using as well the first thing i did was cut the string off of the little long wood sign and now i'm going to attach these three boxes to that sign i will be using hot glue and wood glue for this part as well and i'm just going to be attaching these three boxes right next to each other After I get this last piece attached, I am going to take some of that wood glue and add it in the little hole at the top on that side, just in case you end up seeing anything. And then now what I'm going to do is just take my Dollar Tree sanding block and sand over this piece before I stain it. that wood stain that I used in a previous DIY and now I'm going over that painter stick with some of that white shark paint after I get that complete what I'm going to do is just attach me a piece of juke cord well the juke wire cord to the back so that I can have the option to hang this on the wall and then after I get that complete what I'm going to do is attach that painter stick that I painted white right to the front of these boxes. I also stained the little give thanks word as well because I'm gonna hot glue that on top of this white painter stick.
before I attach it I'm just going to go in with my sanding block and sand over it a little bit and then I'll hot glue it down once I get that hot glue down what I'm going to do is take my three pieces of foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue one piece down in each one of these boxes So once I get that last foam piece hot glued down, I'm going to go in with my greenery first and I'm going to add them in each one of the foam pieces, just trying to make sure that it's nice and full. And after I get all of my greenery in there, I'm going to add in those Dollar Tree florals and I'm just going to clip those off the stem and add them in there separate. And once I get all of those in there, this DIY is complete. I think it was very simple, but I absolutely love how it turned out. Thank you all so much again for watching another one of my videos. I absolutely do appreciate all of the support. Remember, if you like this video, please remember to give it thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. Until next time, my friends, stay safe so I can see you in the next video.